is a multi-paradigm programming language encompassing strong typing, imperative, declarative, functional, generic, object-oriented, and component-oriented programming disciplines. It was developed by Microsoft within its .NET initiative and later approved as a standard by ECMA and ISO. C is one of the programming languages designed for the common language infrastructure. C is intended to be a simple, modern, general-purpose, object-oriented programming language. Its development team is led by Anders Helsberg. The most recent version is C 5.0, which was released on August 15, 2012. Design Goals The ECMA standard lists these design goals for C. The C language is intended to be a simple, modern, general-purpose, object-oriented programming language. The language, and implementations thereof, should provide support for software engineering principles such as strong type checking, array bounds checking, detection of attempts to use uninitialized variables, and automatic garbage collection. Software robustness, durability, and programmer productivity are important. The language is intended for use in developing software components suitable for deployment in distributed environments. Source code portability is very important, as is programmer portability, especially for those programmers already familiar with C and C++. Support for internationalization is very important. C is intended to be suitable for writing applications for both hosted and embedded systems, ranging from the very large that use sophisticated operating systems, down to the very small having dedicated functions. Although C applications are intended to be economical with regard to memory and processing power requirements, the language was not intended to compete directly on performance and size with C or assembly language. Name The name C sharp was inspired by musical notation where a sharp indicates that the written note should be made a semitone higher in pitch. This is similar to the language name of C++, where plus plus indicates that a variable should be incremented by one. The sharp symbol also resembles a ligature of four plus symbols, further implying that the language is an increment of C++. Due to technical limitations of display and the fact that the sharp symbol is not present on the standard keyboard, the number sign was chosen to represent the sharp symbol in the written name of the programming language. This convention is reflected in the ECMA 334C language specification. However, when it is practical to do so, Microsoft uses the intended musical symbol. The sharp suffix has been used by a number of other .NET languages that are variants of existing languages, including J, A, and the functional programming language F. The original implementation of Eiffel for .NET was called Eiffel a name retired since the full Eiffel language is now supported. The suffix has also been used for libraries, such as GTK and COCO. History During the development of the .NET framework, the class libraries were originally written using a managed code compiler system called Simple Managed C. In January 1999, Anders Helsberg formed a team to build a new language at the time called COOL, which stood for C-like object-oriented language. Microsoft had considered keeping the name Cool as the final name of the language, but chose not to do so for trademark reasons. By the time the .NET project was publicly announced at the July 2000 Professional Developers Conference, the language had been renamed C, and the class libraries and ASP.NET runtime had been ported to C. CS principal designer and lead architect at Microsoft is Anders Helsberg, who was previously involved with the design of Turbo Pascal. Embarcadero Delphi, and Visual J++. In interviews and technical papers he has stated that flaws in most major programming languages drove the fundamentals of the common language runtime, which, in turn, drove the design of the C language itself. James Gosling, who created the Java programming language in 1994, and Bill Joy, a co-founder of Sun Microsystems, the originator of Java called C an imitation of Java. Gosling further said that, C is sort of Java with reliability, productivity and security deleted. Klaus Krift and Angelica Langer stated in a blog post that Java and C are almost identical programming languages. Boring repetition that lacks innovation, 
hardly anybody will claim that Java or C are revolutionary programming languages that change the way we write programs, and C borrowed a lot from Java, and vice versa. Now that C supports boxing and unboxing, we'll have a very similar feature in Java. In July 2000, Anders Helsberg said that C is not a Java clone, and is much closer to C++ in its design. Since the release of C 2.0 in November 2005, the C and Java languages have evolved on increasingly divergent trajectories, becoming somewhat less similar. One of the first major departures came with the addition of generics to both languages, with vastly different implementations. C makes use of reification to provide first-class generic objects that can be used like any other class, with code generation performed at class load time. By contrast, Java's generics are essentially a language syntax feature, and they do not affect the generated byte code, because the compiler performs type erasure on the generic type information after it has verified its correctness. Furthermore, C has added several major features to accommodate functional style programming, culminating in the LINQ extensions released with C 3.0 and its supporting framework of lambda expressions, extension methods, and anonymous types. These features enable C programmers to use functional programming techniques, such as closures, when it is advantageous to their application. The LINQ extensions and the functional imports help developers reduce the amount of boilerplate code that is included in common tasks like querying a database, parsing an XML file, or searching through a data structure, shifting the emphasis onto the actual program logic to help improve readability and maintainability. C used to have a mascot called Andy. It was retired on January 29, 2004. C was originally submitted for review to the ISO subcommittee JTC 1 SC22 under ISO IEC 237203, which is now withdrawn. It was then approved under ISO IEC 237206. Versions In the course of its development, the C language has gone through several versions. Syntax C has the following syntax. Semicolons are used to denote the end of a statement. Curly brackets are used to group statements. Statements are commonly grouped into methods, methods into classes, and classes into namespaces. Variables are assigned using an equal sign, but compared using two consecutive equal signs. Square brackets are used with arrays both to declare them and to get a value at a given index in one of them. Distinguishing features, note, the following description is based on the language standard and other documents listed in the external links section. By design, C is the programming language that most directly reflects the underlying common language infrastructure here, CLI. Most of its intrinsic types correspond to value types implemented by the CLI framework. However, the language specification does not state the code generation requirements of the compiler, that is, it does not state that a C compiler must target a common language runtime, or generate common intermediate language, or generate any other specific format. Theoretically, a C compiler could generate machine code like traditional compilers of C++ or Fortran. Some notable features of C that distinguish it from C and C++ are C supports strongly typed implicit variable declarations with the keyword var, and implicitly typed arrays with the keyword new followed by a collection initializer. Metaprogramming via C attributes is part of the language. Many of these attributes duplicate the functionality of GCCs and Visual C++'s platform-dependent preprocessor directives. Like C++, and unlike Java. C programmers must use the keyword virtual to allow methods to be overridden by subclasses. Extension methods in C allow programmers to use static methods as if they were methods from a class's method the table, allowing programmers to add methods to an object that they feel should exist on that object and its derivatives. The type dynamic allows for runtime method binding, allowing for JavaScript-like method calls and runtime object composition. C has support for strongly typed function pointers via the keyword delegate. Like the Qt framework pseudo C++ signal and slot, C has semantics specifically surrounding publish-subscribe style events, 
though C uses delegates to do so. C offers Java-like synchronized method calls, via the attribute, method impl, method impl options synchronized, and has support for mutually exclusive locks via the keyword lock. The C languages does not allow for global variables or functions. All methods and members must be declared within classes. Static members of public classes can substitute for global variables and functions. Local variables cannot shadow variables of the enclosing block, unlike C and C++. A C namespace provides the same level of code isolation as a Java package or a C++ namespace, with very similar rules and features to a package. C supports a strict Boolean data type, bool. Statements that take conditions, such as while and if, require an expression of a type that implements the true operator, such as the Boolean type. While C++ also has a Boolean type, it can be freely converted to and from integers, and expressions such as if, a, require only that a is convertible to bool, allowing it to be an int, or a pointer. C disallows this integer meaning true or false approach, on the grounds that forcing programmers to use expressions that return exactly bool can prevent certain types of programming mistakes common in C or C++ such as if. In C. Memory address pointers can only be used within blocks specifically marked as unsafe, and programs with unsafe code need appropriate permissions to run. Most object access is done through safe object references, which always either point to a live object or have the well-defined null value. It is impossible to obtain a reference to a dead object, or to a random block of memory. An unsafe pointer can point to an instance of a value type, array, string or a block of memory allocated on a stack. Code that is not marked as unsafe can still store and manipulate pointers through the system INTPT a type, but it cannot dereference them. Managed memory cannot be explicitly freed. Instead, it is automatically garbage collected. Garbage collection addresses the problem of memory leaks by freeing the programmer of responsibility for releasing memory that is no longer needed. In addition to the try, Catch construct to handle exceptions, C has a try. Finally construct to guarantee execution of the code in the finally block, whether an exception occurs or not. Multiple inheritance is not supported, although a class can implement any number of interfaces. This was a design decision by the language's lead architect to avoid complication and simplify architectural requirements throughout CLI. When implementing multiple interfaces that contain a method with the same signature, C allows the programmer to implement each method depending on which interface that method is being called through, or, like Java, allows the programmer to implement the method once and have that be the single invocation on a call through any of the class's interfaces. C, unlike Java, supports operator overloading. Only the most commonly overloaded operators in C++ may be overloaded in C. C is more type safe than C++. The only implicit conversions by default are those that are considered safe, such as widening of integers. This is enforced at compile time, during JIT, and, in some cases, at runtime. No implicit conversions occur between booleans and integers, nor between enumeration members and integers. Any user-defined conversion must be explicitly marked as explicit or implicit, unlike C++ copy constructors and conversion operators, which are both implicit by default. C has explicit support for covariance and contravariance in generic types, unlike C++ which has some degree of support for contravariance simply through the semantics of return types on virtual methods. Enumeration members are placed in their own scope. C provides properties of syntactic sugar for a common pattern in which a pair of methods, accessor and mutator encapsulate operations on a single attribute of a class. No redundant method signatures for the getter setter implementations need be written, and the property may be accessed using attribute syntax rather than more verbose method calls. Checked exceptions are not present in C. This has been a conscious decision based on the issues of scalability and versionability. Though primarily an imperative language, C 2.0 offered limited support for functional programming through first-class functions and closures in the form of anonymous delegates. 
C3.0 expanded support for functional programming with the introduction of a lightweight syntax for lambda expressions, extension methods, and a list comprehension syntax in the form of a query comprehension language. Common type system, C has a unified type system. This unified type system is called common type system. A unified type system implies that all types, including primitives such as integers, are subclasses of the system object class. For example, every type inherits it a string method. Categories of data types, CTS separates data types into two categories, reference types, value types, instances of value types do not have referential identity nor referential comparison semantics, equality and inequality comparisons for value types compare the actual data values within the instances, unless the corresponding operators are overloaded. Value types are derived from system value type, always have a default value, and can always be created and copied. Some other limitations on value types are that they cannot derive from each other and cannot have an explicit default constructor. Examples of value types are all primitive types, such as int, float, char, and system date time. Other examples are enum and struct. In contrast, reference types have the notion of referential identity, each instance of a reference type is inherently distinct from every other instance, even if the data within both instances is the same. This is reflected in default equality and inequality comparisons for reference types, which test for referential rather than structural equality, unless the corresponding operators are overloaded. In general, it is not always possible to create an instance of a reference type, nor to copy an existing instance, or perform a value comparison on two existing instances, though specific reference types can provide such services by exposing a public constructor or implementing a corresponding interface. Examples of reference types are object, system string, and system array. Both type categories are extensible with user-defined types. Boxing and unboxing, boxing is the operation of converting a value type object into a value of a corresponding reference type. Boxing in C is implicit. Unboxing is the operation of converting a value of a reference type into a value of a value type. Unboxing in C requires an explicit type cast. A boxed object of type T can only be unboxed to a T, example. Generics, generics were added to version 2.0 of the C language. Generics use type parameters which make it possible to design classes and methods that do not specify the type used until the class or method is instantiated. The main advantage is that one can use generic type parameters to create classes and methods that can be used without incurring the cost of runtime casts or boxing operations, as shown here. When compared with C++ templates, C generics can provide enhanced safety, but also have somewhat limited capabilities. For example, it is not possible to call arithmetic operators on a C generic type. Preprocessor C features preprocessor directives based on the C preprocessor that allow programmers to define symbols, but not macros. Conditionals such as if, and if, and else are also provided. Directives such as region give hints to editors for code folding. Code comments C utilizes a double slash to indicate the rest of the line is a comment. This is inherited from C++. Multi-line comments can start with slash asterisk and end asterisk slash. This is inherited from standard C. XML documentation system, CS documentation system is similar to Java's Javadoc, but based on XML. Two methods of documentation are currently supported by the C compiler. Single-line documentation comments such as those commonly found in Visual Studio generated code, are indicated on a line beginning with slash. Multi-line documentation comments, while defined in the version 1.0 language specification, were not supported until the .NET 1.1 release. These comments start with slash asterisk asterisk and end asterisk slash. Note there are some stringent criteria regarding white space and XML documentation when using the slash asterisk technique. This code block produces a different XML comment from this code block. 
Syntax for documentation comments in their XML markup is defined in a non-normative annex of the ECMAC standard. The same standard also defines rules for processing of such comments, and their transformation to a plain XML document with precise rules for mapping of CLI identifiers to their related documentation elements. This allows any CIDE or other development tool to find documentation for any symbol in the code in a certain well-defined way. Libraries, the C specification details a minimum set of types in class libraries that the compiler expects to have available. In practice, C is most often used with some implementation of the common language infrastructure, which is standardized as ECMA 335 common language infrastructure. Hello, world example, the following is a very simple C program, a version of the classic Hello world example. The effect is to write the following text to the output console. Hello, world. Each line has a purpose. The above line of code tells the compiler to use system as a candidate prefix for types used in the source code. In this case, when the compiler sees use of the console type later in the source code, it tries to find a type named console, first in the current assembly, followed by all referenced assemblies. In this case the compiler fails to find such a type, since the name of the type is actually system console. The compiler then attempts to find a type named system console by using the system prefix from the using statement, and this time it succeeds. The using statement allows the programmer to state all candidate prefixes to use during compilation instead of always using full type names. Above is a class definition. Everything between the following pair of braces describes program. This declares the class member method where the program begins execution. The .NET runtime calls the main method. The static keyword makes the method accessible without an instance of program. Each console application's main entry point must be declared static. Otherwise, the program would require an instance, but any instance would require a program. To avoid that irresolvable circular dependency, see compilers processing console applications report an error, if there is no static main method. The void keyword declares that main has no return value. This line writes the output. Console is a static class in the system namespace. It provides an interface to the standard input, output, and error streams for console applications. The program calls the console method write line, which displays on the console a line with the argument, the string hello world. A GUI example. This example is similar to the previous example, except that it generates a dialog box that contains the message hello, world. Instead of writing it to the console. Standardization and licensing, in August 2000, Microsoft Corporation, Hewlett Packard and Intel Corporation co-sponsored the submission of specifications for C as well as the common language infrastructure to the standards organization ECMA International. In December 2001, ECMA released ECMA 334 C language specification. C became an ISO standard in 2003. ECMA had previously adopted equivalent specifications as the second edition of C, in December 2002. In June 2005, ECMA approved edition 3 of the C specification, and updated ECMA 334. Additions included partial classes, anonymous methods, nullable types, and generics. In July 2005, ECMA submitted the standards and related TRs to ISO IEC JTC1 via the latter's fast-track process. This process usually takes 6 a year or 9 months. The C language definition and the CLI are standardized under ISO and ECMA standards that provide reasonable and non-discriminatory licensing protection from patent claims. However, Microsoft uses C and the CLI in its base class library that is the foundation of its proprietary .NET framework, and which provides a variety of non-standardized classes. Some cases where Microsoft patents Apple to standards used in the .NET framework are documented by Microsoft and the applicable patents are available on either RAN terms or through Microsoft's open specification promise that releases patent rights to the public, but there is some concern and debate as to whether there are additional aspects patented by Microsoft that are not covered, which may deter independent implementations of the full framework. 
Microsoft has agreed not to sue open source developers for violating patents and non-profit projects for the part of the framework that is covered by the OSP. Microsoft has also agreed not to enforce patents relating to Novell products against Novell's paying customers with the exception of a list of products that do not explicitly mention C.NET or Novell's implementation of .NET. However, Novell maintains that Mono does not infringe any Microsoft patents. Microsoft has also made a specific agreement not to enforce patent rights related to the Moonlight Browser plugin, which depends on Mono, provided it is obtained through Novell. In a note posted on the Free Software Foundation's news website in June 2009, Richard Stallman warned that he believes that Microsoft is probably planning to force all free C implementations underground someday using software patents and recommended that developers avoid taking what he described as the gratuitous risk associated with depending on the free C implementations. The Free Software Foundation later reiterated its warnings, claiming that the extension of Microsoft Community Promise to the C and the CLIE CMA specifications would not prevent Microsoft from harming free implementations of C, because many specific Windows libraries included with .NET or Mono were not covered by this promise. Implementations, the reference C compiler is Microsoft Visual C, which is closed source. Microsoft is leading the development of a new open source C compiler and set of tools, previously codenamed Roslyn. The compiler, which is entirely written in managed code, has been opened up and functionality surfaced as APIs. It is thus enabling developers to create refactoring and diagnostics tools. Other C compilers exist often including an implementation of a common language infrastructure and a .NET class libraries up to .NET 2.0. The Mono project provides an open source C compiler, a complete open source implementation of a common language infrastructure including the required framework libraries as they appear in the ECMA specification, and a nearly complete implementation of the Microsoft proprietary .NET class libraries up to .NET 3.5. As of Mono 2.6, no plans exist to implement WPF. WF is planned for a later release. And there are only partial implementations of LINQ to SQL and WCF. The .NU project also provides an open source C compiler, a nearly complete implementation of the common language infrastructure including the required framework libraries as they appear in the ECMA specification and subset of some of the remaining Microsoft proprietary .NET class libraries up to .NET 2.0. Microsoft's Rotor project provides a shared source implementation of the CLR runtime and a C compiler, and a subset of the required common language infrastructure framework libraries in the ECMA specification. See also Notes References Further reading, Drayton, Peter. Albahari, Ben. Muad, Ted. C Language Pocket Reference O'Reilly. ISBN A 0 596 0 Ptzold, Charles. Programming Microsoft Windows with C. Microsoft Press. ISBN A 0 7356 1370 2 External links C Language Specification, C Programming Guide, Download C Express. ISOC language specification Microsoft Visual C.net